Hi and welcome to At More Zest. My name is Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at 147. And I'm finally getting to kit up one of the logo paintings. Um, that so this was from Coo Deals. I did an unboxing on my other channel. I have this in both round and square. But it's time for me to kit one of them up as my little 30 by 40 to do. I have very nearly finished Minions. Uh, it's not quite there yet as I'm filming this video, but I haven't yet done what would have been the Sunday whip and chat. <laughs> I haven't yet done that whip and chat. Um, of which I'm planning on doing a little bit more. So maybe by the time this video actually comes out, which is only in a couple of days, I may or may not be finished. But I'm going to use this new storage that I got from Amazon. It came as a three pack and I did put a link. It was showing as unavailable when it actually went live, when my unboxing went live. Um, but if it is something that you do want and you're in the UK, just keep it in your sort of save for later type items uh, or keep an eye, keep the link handy and keep checking. Because what I do tend to find is that sometimes they will go as unavailable, but they'll come back as available once they've been restocked. Because us diamond painters have got quite a few. Uh, it was shared on the group um, by, I think it was Louise. Um, it was shared on the group before... I, of course, chose to purchase some because I saw it in the group and in turn, a few people did pick some up before my video came out. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to use these. It did come in a three pack. I did give one to my niece who was here recently uh, and she came shopping into my craft room and went home with a couple of diamond paintings. She's seven. Uh, a couple of diamond paintings and then I opted for this storage for her. Um, she's she can handle it very easily, but also she has a space in the bottom to put her little zesty tray that she also went home with and her pink pen because it was glittery. Um, she was able to put those in the bottom so that she was able to keep everything. Well, the idea was that she would keep things more together. Um, and make it a little bit easier on her mum who doesn't diamond paint. Uh, however, her grandie in Australia does diamond paint, so I'm sure she will be first port of call. I have already had one phone call uh, for a question over diamond painting, but it was such fun. Um, so yeah, I'm going to kit up the square version. I do already have my symbols on a piece of Xyron sticker maker paper. I did a tips and tricks and prepared this and it's been floating around on the side ever since. Uh, but I cut the infantry sheet so that I'd have these pieces, fed it through my Xyron sticker maker and then I cut through so that I would be able to peel these off and put them on my storage. And I also thought because this one has so much 5200, it will be an ideal way for me to be able to, sorry, let me get all the rustling out of the way, um, pop the extras potentially in the bottom. I'm not quite sure how far I'll go with the colours yet because there is 25 colours and this will house 28. Now, do I kit up from the top or from the bottom? In the big round cases, I often kit up from the bottom because that's what's closest to me when I'm diamond painting. But when I use the smaller 28 containers, um, which are smaller than this, I often kit up from the top because it's only tiny. But I think I'm automatically going towards the bottom. So let's kit up from the bottom. I'm going to put my stickers on for, a, for four of them. And then I might see if I can find the bags for those four before I move on to the next four. And I'm going to line them up on the bottom rather than sticking them right in the middle where I normally do. Because it's different and why not be a little bit different? 
Now quite often if I'm going to go in a symbol order, I do much prefer to go letters and then numbers. But for the purposes of this, because they are already detailed in number and then letter order, I think I can cope. So what I want is 154, there it is. I need my bin stored on my little shelf above my camera. In fact, let's try it with the lid on first. And then a pair of scissors, though these are rather sticky scissors. I've been cutting all sorts with these and not cleaned them yet. So let's see how it goes. 154. Oh, look, it pops in the little bin. 310. 310, I have a few more of. I have three. So let's cut one. I don't know how many packets these are going to fit yet, but maybe when we get to, well, definitely when we get to 5200, we'll be able to count how many packets fill in, will fit in one little pot. But I've got three in there with loads and loads of room to spare. So it's hopeful that we'll get everything in. 316 looks to be a pinky colour. There it is, pinky purple. Now I don't normally kit up like this when I'm doing one with these bags. I normally pick up a bag and then find the number. But because for this one, so many of the colours, there is only one bag. Just because of the design of our logo. I think this is working fairly well. I definitely need to clean these scissors though. I can feel them pulling apart as I open them up. So that's one row done. This also gives me a chance to check that all my tubs are facing the right way because this is new storage. It doesn't always get packed with all the lids opening up the same way. So it gives me a chance to check that I'm getting the front. And get hold of the stickers. Oh, this actually works out at the moment, it does anyway, that I have got all the numbers in those rows, so I can still potentially switch them around to the end and have them in alphabetical order and then number order, which makes makes more sense to me and is often the way I organise my diamonds after I've kitted them up in DMC number. I know there was quite a few comments um, on the tip and trick where I mentioned kitting up your diamonds in a particular order, whatever order suits you and always sticking to that order just so that you have, you know, the memory of where to look for a symbol. And there was quite a few people that did mention that they just kit theirs up, say, number 1 to 25, and use the key on here to tell them which one. And if that works for you, keep going with that. The only reason, well, the main reason that I don't do it that way, <clears throat> because I do agree it would potentially be a lot easier to not kit up each and every time and to have pots with just the numbers 1 through to 25 or 28 in the case of this storage and just add diamonds according to the numbers on the key is because I want the speed of not looking at the key. So I may take a little bit longer kitting up because I am creating stickers for each pot. But I don't want to have to look at a symbol and then look at the ledger on the side and then get the symbol out of, out of my storage. I want to look at the symbol here and go straight to it here and cut out that middle one. Right, seven, seven, eight. Let's see how many of these we can get into here. So that is 
two. I'm doing two at a time until it gets a little bit too close for comfort. And these aren't bursting full. I'm able to push them down quite a bit. So two, four. So that's what, 800 diamonds. These are definitely bigger than the others. Two, four. Six. Come on. I've not cut through that one properly, obviously. Let's try that again. Okay, so that's six. Two, four, six. Eight. I think I can safely get eight in. It's whether I can get ten packets in. Okay, I don't think I could potentially get another pack in there, but I think it would be a little bit too close for comfort for me. So I think I'm going to stick with it being um, the, the eight packets. So that is 1,600 diamonds. You could possibly fit 1,700 in there and still be comfortable, but I'm not gonna push it that much. So I am gonna keep the extra diamonds there for the moment. I'm not gonna put them in another tub or next to it because I have a bottom on this one. But what I might do, depending on how many I have, I may still open these and put them into one of my other bags. One of my little foil bags. Okay, so that's the next row of four. And I think now until we get to the five two hundreds, it's pretty much single bags. 3865 I have two of, but apart from that we're on all single bags. It'd be nice to have something else kitted up though. I don't think I've kitted anything else up. In fact I haven't. No, I haven't kitted anything up since... Zesty Wolf? I think it possibly is. If not, it was, it may have been the Hom Fun succulent diamond painting that I kitted up to do over the Christmas period in between my, my whip and waffle of Zesty Wolf for the advent. Um, it was one of those two was the last one that I kitted up, but it was definitely December. I've been wholly focusing on finishing uh, the Diamond Art Club Minions painting. So normally I would have kitted up a small one by now, um, but I decided that Minions needed a lot of my attention and I am on the last strip of it now. I just haven't had much time this week at all because of course I wanted to finish it last week. I didn't have the time to finish it last week. It's always the way. It's just been a crazy, crazy. But hey, these things happen, do they not? That's why it's always a goal and not a definite. I very nearly got enough of my heaven and earth design done in January. But I did do that after the whip and chat the week before last, or last week's, because I've not yet filmed the whip and chat. Um, that you will have seen already. It can get confusing on my filming schedule. Um, but yeah, I I did get the a second section done of my big heaven and earth design. So, so far for January, I have done one section on a video and one section pretty much straight after it. I did it the same day that I had filmed the whip and chat, which is why I often film the likes of these videos before I do the whip and chat. 
So then if, this, if I want to continue on with a painting, I can. Um, so I did get a second section done. So I not only am I meeting my goal of doing one section of my heaven and earth, each of my heaven and earth designs per month, for the month of January, I have completed two sections of my heaven and earth designs, which is exceeding my goal. They still won't be finished this year, but I have exceeded my goal. I've got one sticker left for the five 200s in a moment. But we've got some little bags to finish up first. I like the fact I can just pop little things in this pot and you guys still get to see something pretty. That's a win-win for me. Um, I have seen quite a few people using a toilet roll in one of these holders because it is like a tissue holder. You can pop a round toilet roll in and have that coming out. Especially because sometimes a toilet roll can not only be more cost effective than tissues, sometimes I can find it better when you've got a cold to blow your nose on some toilet roll rather than um, actual tissues. But I'm enjoying using it for a bin. I always need more bins. I have a bin near the, all the 3D printers, you know, that takes any any bits um, of the filament stuff that is that is done as like a mini test before it starts printing a tray so I've always got a bin there um, I've actually got the big foldable bin that gets used for that and then I also have a bin for when I'm packing orders of course that deals with all of that and it's nice to have a bin for de-kitting or kitting up and or de-kitting as well and it's pretty so that's always good now for the five 200s I'm actually wondering whether to tip them all into oh that didn't work the scissors got caught and I'd cut through it but hadn't finished moving the excess piece out of the way so let's get those in there. Yeah, I, th I think I might use a bag actually because I've got the bottom. I could see, look, there it is, stuck to my scissors. I could quite easily potentially use the rest of these containers for more of the 5200. But because I have the underneath on this storage, I'm going to pop them into some of my bags that I use for overstock or diamonds left over. Okay, so each pot, each pot has one colour in and now I need to deal with these extras. So I have a lot of extra 5200, as you can imagine, and I have a little bit of extra of 778. So I'm gonna use my little bags, and these do get reused. So I'm gonna use that, and then let me find some of my little diamond stickers. What are we going for? Nope, that's one that tells that has something written on it. I have a bunch of stickers here. So they're ones that have 50 pieces written on it that goes on to, there we go, that's what I want. I want one of those. Um, yeah, the one with 50 pieces goes on to the cover paper when that gets packed up, just to confirm how many pieces of paper you do get. Right, I'm gonna use yellow. So 778 is one and 5200 is another. So let's go 778. Now I may need another 5200 yet. Time will tell. I want my big tray. 
Where is my bin tray? Oh, it's there. I used to use this all the time when diamond painting. It was my go-to tray. Um, now, I couldn't envision using anything but um, my Admiral Zest tray or my Zesty tray. And I've put the sticker on the wrong side. What a Muppet move. Let's try that again. The lighter side is the right side. Um, yeah, I couldn't, cons I couldn't fathom diamond painting on this tray anymore. I would, I would definitely end up throwing diamonds everywhere because it doesn't have a stopper and that cover. Um, but it is handy when I am doing the likes of a kitting up or a de-kitting. Sometimes it's handy if I'm tipping diamonds into individual pots to just have the um, pot sat on this tray in case I make a mess it will catch anything. So, but I only use it because I have it. I could still use, I've done the same on this bag, I could still use an, an Admiral's S tray. Um, I just would need to remove the stopper each time, whereas this is slightly quicker when I'm not actually diamond painting with it. So let's see how many I can fit in here. So I'm opening four bags and then I'm tipping them in just so I don't make too much of a mess. Because it has been known for me to make a mess. And I am having one of those days where making a mess is often. Not even half ish full on the bag. And it's just a matter of un, you know, using my scissors on all of these takes a little bit more time now. I could quite easily just pop all those extra bags in the bottom of this storage and open them when I need them. I do have a pair of scissors in my diamond painting cart uh, where all my you know, diamond painting things are kept for when I'm actually working on a painting. However, everybody in the house knows that there's a pair of scissors in that diamond painting cart. So they're not always there when I need them, especially with a household of six, as you can imagine. They just don't always make it back where they're supposed to. I've just filmed a video where I didn't have my tape measure for my unboxing. Tape measure was not there because it was borrowed and it has not yet been returned. I've got one that's got stuck right in the spout of the tray. There we go. Let's try that. How close to full are we getting? Close, but not quite there. So I think I might need to go to two bags for these before I can say that I have unpacked them all. Because I've still got quite a few left. So I'll pop these in and then I think I'll just grab another bag. I don't want to be battling. I also need to grab my cover paper. That also sits in my little diamond painting cart. It sits with my little cover paper holder so that I can put cover paper away as I take it off a painting. Okay, I put them back. So we need another bag. Light side. Yes, that side. To stick my stick. It's so much easier when the diamonds are in, you can see where you're going. So, 5200, pop a sticker on just 
just in case I forget that I'm doing loads and loads and loads of white. I don't think I will. But I also don't mind doing loads and loads of white. And the quality of these diamonds looks good. So that always makes things a lot easier. If the quality of the diamonds are there. Oh, that was four. Let's get those tipped in. And I'll show you what I'm going to pop in with all these diamonds for when I do need to tip them out of this bag. You can tip them out just at the corner, at the side of the bag. You can get them to tip out that way. They don't affect, they're not affected by the hole because you're tipping them to the side but I do quite often prefer to use um, a little funnel and I'm pretty sure I have quite a few of them floating about. So I'm just gonna put one in with it. I do have one in my cart. It is hung on a book ring with extra diamonds from another painting. But I know that I will be de-kitting my new soon which means the funnel may end up being put away in my craft room when I do kit. So I'm just, while I've got extra funnels, I'm just going to let each painting that needs one have its own. Because why not? Okay, I can, I can slightly see the end of the 5200s. It's taken a while even to unbag them, never mind actually placing them on the canvas. But once I get in a little rhythm, I'll be off. Oh, let's not do that. That's where I lose things. At least I'm not having to deal with a load of static or anything because that would just make this whole process possibly unbearable. Okay, last set of four. We're nearly there. pieces all the bits in my bin all the diamonds in the bag oh that worked out quite evenly over two bags now let's confirm they all fit never checked that one out did I oh they fit even nicer let's pop them that way because then, because the thing is, of course, I've only got, I've still got room above, but I do need to remember that this needs to sit over the top. And then I do also have another one of the little fold out funnels. So I'm going to pop that in the bottom of there, because then whenever I need to top these up, I've got a little funnel that I can just hold over that. Will it all fit in? It will. Will it all close? It will. So I have my Add More Zest logo all kitted up. If I do find that I am filling up the 5200 potentially far too often, um, especially due to the volume of white across the bottom, and I do tend to often work in lines then what I may do is I may fill up the rest of those um, just so that I'm not tipping them out of the pots quite as often but the fact that they're all out of the bags saves me loads and loads of time so let me grab my cover paper okay, so I've got my cover paper it's looking very very full at the moment goodness knows how many sheets I've got in here uh, but I've definitely been doing quite a few paintings 
Um, not so much recently. I've been working on the Minions, um, but I've definitely had quite a few paintings on the go at once that have caused me to collect so much cover paper. Right, off comes the top sheet. Got that to fit in my little bin. So let me grab some of my cover paper sheets and I want to make sure that I cover up any sort of slight overhang of glue that there may be. And you do, it's quite a generous amount that I can overlap. I could start doing that one up that way, but I'm, I always work in rows and I often work from the bottom. So because there's so much white on this, I am going to be quite generous, I suppose, with myself or with the section that I'm doing. And I'm overlapping quite a bit here which in turn will give me a smaller section to do. It's like a, a little way of being a little bit kinder to myself that the sections aren't as big as I might necessarily do on a normal painting or on a normal day. Um, they are thinner, so I will have that sense of achievement of getting somewhere with the painting. <laughs> Well, there's so much white. And this last section is, of course, quite a bit smaller. Depending on how much I'm working it on it for an evening, I will quite often pull off more than one sheet um, of cover paper. But it is all kitted up. My Add More Zest logo in square. I decided to kit up the square first because... It is a it is one that will take longer on the basis that it is a square. Plus the minions painting um, that I've been doing the whole of January and part of February determined to finish is also a round. Um, so I wanted the variety of going to the square one. So yeah. That is all kitted up and ready to go. Thank you all so much for joining me. I will let you know what I think of this storage when I'm done. Uh, but I do like the fact that everything is contained, um, very much so. I do have some little mini paintings as well that I do want to kit up. And I'm wondering whether they would be better in this sort of storage as well. So maybe I'll have to dig out the second one and kit them both up in this type of storage. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know whether I love it or hate it once I've, I've done a bit of diamond painting. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.